has indicted the ex-wife of the Florida Microsoft executive, Jared Bridegan, who was shot and killed in front of his young daughter more than 18 months ago. Just hearing from prosecutors in a state attorney's office moments ago, we're now hearing from, it appears, Jared Bridegan's widow is speaking briefly on this. A very emotional moment here. Let's play this out for you next. Your parents miss you. Your wife misses you. Your children miss you. To every single law enforcement officer, agency, the district and state, state attorney, we can never express our gratitude adequately. We are eternally grateful for your sacrifices and your support. To every reporter, podcast show, producer, thank you. Thank you for writing about Jared's story. Thank you for caring. Thank you for helping us fight for justice. To every person who shared a story, liked, commented, posted flyers about the truck, those who shared a prayer or sent words of positive, positive encouragement, thank you from the bottom of the Bridegan family heart. We love you all. Thank you. For 547 days, we have hoped and prayed that this day would come. Our hearts will always be full of deep gratitude for the men and women who have worked tirelessly to bring justice forward in Jared's case. We are also deeply grateful for the prayers that have been offered on our behalf. Shanna's arrest ends one horrific chapter of our pursuit for justice for Jared. And now we open a new one. This next chapter will be excruciating. But we are confident in the ability of the state's attorney's office and law enforcement to bring truth to light. We expect to see justice carried out to the fullest extent of the law. Our Hearts and minds. I've been with Liam and Abby. Since the day of Jared's murder, but especially now. For the past year and a half, Liam and Abby have been isolated and kept away from us while they lived with their mother, their stepdad, and their maternal grandparents. Despite my constant requests to see or speak to them, I have been denied and continuously ignored. So I will take this opportunity to do it again. I plead with the guard nurse to put the emotional and mental well-being of Liam Abbey above all else and allow them to reconnect with us. We are their family. We love them. We have prayed for them every single day for the last 547 days since they were ripped away and isolated from us. The kids deserve all the love and support possible as we work through this next chapter. Please do not continue to add to their pain. Let our children be siblings again and put them first and do what's right. Thank you. Is anyone up for any? Yeah. Kristen, you and your family members, parents, siblings, never, never gave up hope. You're standing here today talking about what the state attorney says is the final arrest in this case. What does that do? You said you're moving into a next chapter, but, but mm -hmm. what's the feeling right now? I think I can speak for all of us. We've had every single feeling um, in the last short time. There's been anger when we think about what was done. Um, gratitude, deep gratitude that we are here today happiness that we are finally seeing this day and just a lot of heartache 
um, especially for the twins. So we are very grateful to be here, and we just know that we got to buckle up and be ready for what's coming. As a family, did you guys ever think that Shanna would ultimately be arrested for um, this incident? From very, very early on, um, everything in my soul and body told me that she was behind it. In a deeply emotional day like this, what do you tell your children about today and the results of today? London is too young to know anything. Um, Bexley is older. She was there. She's been part of this since they decided to kill her father in front of her. Um, I have to keep it in simple terms because terms, she's only four. She knows that two bad guys have been put in jail and this morning I was able to tell her that who she refers to as the mean mom um, is going to be in jail as well. Did you know this was coming today? We were given a, a little bit of a heads up. Adam, you spoke uh, uh, directly to your brother. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you think he had a hand in, in, in keeping this family together and, and so strong through all this? I, I think you speak Justin as well. Like, there's not a doubt that Jared has been working overtime amongst the family, but also helping in the investigation. Um, there, there's been a lot of really incredible breaks that had to happen for this day to come. And, and if you knew Jared, you knew that he does not give up. He's He's very focused, and um, he, he would make sure that our family got justice while while we're still living. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I'll say this. Uh, his presence has been felt, um, but i got to be honest with you. The, it's been a broken world. Uh, February 16th was, was a broken. It just seemed like everything just broke. And today it feels a little bit better. It feels like we can do this. And uh, I know Jared's had a heart, and I know he's been in it, and I know it's, it's, it's a step in the right direction. It feels right. State Attorney Melissa Nelson said that the state intends to seek the death penalty against uh, Shauna and, and Mario. Does anyone from the family have a comment about that? A life was taken, and countless lives are impacted by that, so I believe that the harshest punishment is justified here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so this news just coming down as we heard from the state's attorney's office announcing that the ex-wife of Jared Bridegan has been indicted and charged with first degree murder. The state also announcing that they will be seeking the death penalty, not only for Shanna Gardner Fernandez, but also for her husband, who is also charged in this case as well. If you are not familiar with what happened to Jared Bridegan, he was gunned down last year in front of his two-year-old daughter. It was a, an awful, awful crime that we've been continuing to follow here. And Shanna Gardner Fernandez has long been considered somebody that the police detectives were looking into in this case. And this morning we learned that a grand jury did hand down a first degree murder indictment. Bridegan was 33 years old when he was killed last year after dropping off two of his children that he shared with his ex-wife at her home. His other young daughter that he shares with his widow who just spoke there moments ago was in the vehicle when this atrocious act happened. Now, obviously, the family there speaking out, we haven't heard from them very much during this very emotional time, but we have been anticipating that this could be something that happens in this case, that his ex-wife had been looked into as a potential suspect in this case, and today we did hear that. Not only that, but they will be seeking, again, the death penalty in this as well. So continuing to bring you the latest developments here, but some big news coming down from Florida just moments ago. In the meantime,